Today's lecture will focus on mitochondrial DNA mutations in Labor's hereditary optic neuropathy, LHON. We will explore the specific mutations in the mitochondrial genome associated with ULN, their impact on optic nerve health, and potential treatment strategies. ULN is caused by mutations in mitochondrial genes that disrupt mitochondrial function in the optic nerve. Specific mutations like G3460A, G11778A, and T14484C lead to impaired electron transport and ATP production, causing optic nerve degeneration and vision loss. Complex eye deficiencies in them result in impaired electron transport chain activity and mitochondrial bioenergetics. This leads to reduced ATP production, increased oxidative stress, and selective vulnerability of retinal ganglion cells, causing the pathology of ulm. In ulm, the malfunctioning of mitochondria in optic nerve cells causes energy deficits, compromising cellular function and leading to optic nerve degeneration. Understanding this can help identify potential treatments to restore bioenergetic balance and protect optic nerve health. In ULN, the degeneration of retinal ganglion cells is driven by oxidative stress and abnormal mitochondrial dynamics. This understanding can aid in developing targeted treatment strategies for preserving vision in ULN patients. Visual electrophysiology tests are important in diagnosing and monitoring ULN. They measure electrical responses in the visual system, indicating the condition of retinal ganglion cells. ULN patients have specific abnormal results, which correspond to the extent of visual impairment. These abnormalities aid in early detection and progression monitoring, enhancing disease management and prognosis assessment. The occurrence and prevalence of Lieber hereditary optic neuropathy, LHON, are influenced by various demographic and environmental factors. UN shows differences in prevalence among populations and has genetic predispositions. Research is ongoing in understanding the interplay between genetic susceptibility, environmental triggers, and epigenetic modifications. Some studies suggest associations with toxins, infections, or nutrition, but more understanding is needed. Analyzing these factors helps identify on risk factors and guide preventive measures. Preserving optic nerve function and preventing further vision loss are essential goals in the management of ulm. Neuroprotective strategies focus on mitigating cellular damage, reducing oxidative stress, and promoting cellular survival. Currently, several neuroprotective interventions are being explored, such as the use of antioxidants, neurotrophic factors, and drugs targeting mitochondrial dysfunction. Additionally, emerging technologies, including gene therapy and stem cell-based approaches, hold promising potential for optic nerve protection and ulm. Evaluating the effectiveness and safety of these interventions is crucial for improving visual outcomes and enhancing the quality of life for ulm patients. Genetic counseling is important for ulm families. It helps them understand inheritance patterns and reproductive options. Genetic testing can identify carriers and assess the risk of disease transmission. Predictive testing informs unaffected individuals and enables family screening for at-risk individuals. This empowers families to make informed decisions and manage on risk. Imaging techniques, such as optical coherence tomography, OCT, play a crucial role in diagnosing, monitoring, and managing on. OCT allows for high-resolution, non-invasive imaging of the optic nerve head, retinal nerve fiber layer, and macular region. In ULN, specific structural changes can be observed, including thinning of the retinal nerve fiber layer and optic nerve head cupping. These structural alterations provide valuable diagnostic and prognostic information and allow for longitudinal monitoring of disease progression. Incorporating optic nerve imaging modalities into ULN clinical practice enhances diagnostic accuracy and aids in therapeutic decision-making. Optical coherence tomography, OCT, provides detailed and quantitative assessment of the optic nerve and retina in on patients. OCT scans reveal characteristic changes in the retinal nerve fiber layer thickness, optic nerve head morphology, and macular region. These changes correspond to the selective loss of retinal ganglion cells and axonal degeneration in them. Moreover, longitudinal OCT measurements allow for the monitoring of disease progression and response to treatment. Analyzing the specific OCT findings in ULN enhances our understanding of the disease's structural manifestations and aids in differentiating it from other optic neuropathies. Oxidative stress and impaired mitochondrial dynamics are closely intertwined in ULN pathogenesis. Elevated levels of reactive oxygen species exacerbate mitochondrial dysfunction, leading to oxidative damage to mitochondrial components. Impaired mitochondrial fission and fusion contribute to dysfunctional mitochondria accumulation, further perpetuating oxidative stress and cellular damage. Understanding these complex interactions provides insights into potential therapeutic targets, such as antioxidative agents and modulators of mitochondrial dynamics, aimed at interrupting the destructive feedback loop and preserving optic nerve health in on patients. Mitochondrial replacement therapies, 
including mitochondrial transfer and gene therapy approaches, hold promise for own treatment. These innovative strategies aim to restore mitochondrial function by introducing healthy mitochondria or correcting specific mutations in affected individuals. Mitochondrial transfer involves transferring healthy mitochondria from donor cells to affected cells, while gene therapy aims to correct or replace mutant mitochondrial DNA with normal DNA sequences. Although these approaches are still in the experimental stage, initial studies and ongoing clinical trials have shown encouraging results and provide hope for improving visual outcomes in own patients. ULN is a complex mitochondrial disorder caused by specific genetic mutations. Understanding its impact on optic nerve health is crucial for diagnosis and treatment. Integrating knowledge from various disciplines is key to preserving vision and improving ULN patients' quality of life.